Hi, I'm Tara Frankel. I'm the head of global medical and evidence at Bayer Pharmaceuticals, where we strive for help for all and hunger for none. These are really important words to me, not just words, but a mission, because what a goal that is to if we can achieve it. Um, and how did I get here? I got here because of a feathered thing called hope. It's a famous poem by Emily Dickinson that really drives me. Hope is a thing with feathers that perches on the soul and sings a song without a tune and never stops at all. And that's what I feel like we do in drug development. We are the hope for patients and their families by bringing them innovative medicines. Uh, and I, I started out in academia. I'm a urologic surgeon, pharmacist, master in public health. Um, and I was doing the kind of triple threat of seeing patients, um, teaching residents, as well as trying to start some academic research. And then I had a really just, a, it was like a pull from the universe <laughs> um, in that I couldn't really capture what my own individual research was really going to contribute and like what impact was it going to have. And that was my draw into pharma, where I felt like I could be part of something bigger that would really impact patients and their families. I couldn't quite let go of my clinical uh, practice because I do love my patients and and helping them. And so I continued in clinical practice simultaneously for 15 years while working in pharma, where I had a really very broad experience starting in clinical research uh, and development. And I had the opportunity to really be in many broad areas of um, very broad areas of research and ultimately kind of leading me to oncology in the end. Um, but all of those areas had really great importance for patients in terms of their disease management, quality of life. But there is really something special about oncology where you're extending survival and making it so meaningful for patients. I think the biggest challenges of being a woman leader are really staying true to yourself and embracing your femininity uh, as well as all the other attributes that you bring to work. Bringing forward your opinions, I think, with candor and courage, while also having empathy you know, for others and making conversations productive. Um, there's always, of course, you know, I do have a family, and the, my two sons and my husband are the light of my life. So you do have to, you know, find that right balance. But I found with the, with the right support and prioritization of what's important to me, while of course always maintaining what's important to the business, allowed me to be really fulfilled and manage all of this. I think working in pharma is a gift and a privilege. You get to work with some of the most bright, uh, with some of the brightest colleagues uh, who are really dedicated to the mission the same as, as we are, um, really working together to, to bring new hope to patients and their families, create really substantial evidence that supports the, both the registration and the um, accessibility, I'll say, of the drug to others. Yeah, I think we're bringing a lot forward at the SASCO, and I'm really excited about some of our data. Um, I think something novel that we have is uh, Elanzan is the drug called Elanzanatan, which is a dual NK1 NK3 inhibitor that treats the vasomotor symptoms, otherwise known as hot flashes, for women who are on estrogen therapy for breast cancer. This is the first non-hormonal treatment option or any treatment option, I think, for women with uh, hot flashes. And it's so important because many times it's these symptoms of hot flashes that make patients go off of their drug, right? And then that sets them up for progression of cancer. So in this sense, by treating the hot flashes, we are able to help patients stay on their drug and prevent the progression of breast cancer. I actually just also walked out of the presentation of our SOHO1 trial for our TKI for HER2 mutant non-small cell lung cancer, uh, which again will, I think, offer an exciting treatment option for patients who have so very few options 
in this space. I'm delighted to be part of this series of women leaders in pharma and biotech and to see all of the innovation that's happening at ASCO and really creating the what ifs and the possibilities for our future advancements in oncology. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Onca Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.